Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Single Guys Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a very traditional Cuban dish, picadillo, ground beef Cuban style. And we're going to deal with a great debate that many Cubans have about whether or not we should add raisins to picadillo, to ground beef. Let's check it out. Okay, so I have my ground beef uh, that I'm going to cook first before anything else. Making a Okay, so once my meat is cooked, uh, I'm going to start adding my ingredients. So I have a teaspoon of oregano. I have half a teaspoon of rosemary. I have one uh, beef bouillon cube that I really like to add to the picadillo. I have one teaspoon of Sazon Completa, complete seasoning, which we use this uh, quite a lot in a number of different dishes. So I'm going to use Sazon Completa for this as well. And then I have about a half a cup of tomato sauce, and this will be the base for the ground beef. So I'm going to integrate this really well and cook all of this for about a couple more minutes. So I'll five more minutes to make sure that all of the uh, all of the condiments or the seasonings are well integrated with the beef. And again, you know, the salt is the last thing I add just to make sure that I don't over salt uh, the ground beef. So we're gonna cook it for a few minutes until the uh, beef is well. Uh, cooked and integrated with the uh, seasonings I just added and as we can see it's taking a very nice color with the tomato uh, sauce so I'm gonna add my onions now and then I'm gonna also add a quarter cup of dry cooking wine vino seco this will give it that special touch i'm going to lower my temperature to medium so that the onions uh, cook well then i'm going to add my olives so i'm using a couple of different types of olives just because i love olives uh, in this dish Again, this is a very simple dish, it's not complicated. Um, you can give it your special touch. And I'm going to add my garlic. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water because it's drying now a little bit too quickly. So just a little bit of water uh, to make sure that it doesn't fully dry. And then I'm going to add my potatoes. Okay, potatoes are an important part of this dish. So I cut them in small cubes and boil them. So now before I decide whether or not I need to add any salt to this, I'm going to taste it. So now, before I add the salt uh, to this dish, 
first I, I have to see if it needs any salt because like I said in other videos uh, a, a lot of the, the seasonings that we use the powder seasonings that we use have already salt in them and so it's important to add the seasonings first before we add the salt so that we don't over salt the food so I'm gonna taste the sauce to see if it needs any salt at all and it does a tiny bit just a pinch to bring it to that to that level now the great debate so in Cuban cooking there's a lot of things that people argue about unfortunately uh, that's because Cuban food is pretty regionalized in certain parts of the island they cook something a certain way in other parts of the island they cook it a different way and so the big debate is whether or not picadillo um, should have raisins in it some people like them some people don't I happen to like raisins in my ground beef and so I typically add it if you don't like the raisins you don't have to add it um, it's fine without them it's just something that a lot of people use because it's the contrast between the saltiness of the of the of the dish and a little bit of the sweetness of the raisin so I, I happen to love the raisin so I'm gonna add some raisins um, to my ground beef okay and I'll lower the temperature a little bit more and the dish is practically ready it looks and smells pretty nice so okay so it's ready and uh, now all we need to do is serve it with whatever we want to um, we typically eat this with white rice or with rice and beans uh, but typically with rice of some type Hey guys, so here it is, picadillo con papas y pasa, ground beef with potatoes and raisins. If you are Cuban, uh, let me know in the comments if you like raisins in your picadillo. Many Cubans don't, uh, there's a big debate among Cubans whether or not you should add raisins to picadillo. I happen to like raisins in my ground beef so I add it anytime I make it. So if you don't like it, let me know why, if you like it, also let me know why. If you like my new apron with my logo, it's available on my merchandise shop. And it comes in different colors, the logo's also in different colors. So check it out, you might like it. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on any new videos I upload uh, every week. If you have any special requests for a particular Cuban dish, let me know. I'll be more than glad to give it a try. Anyway, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.